Come on, Donkey. Get with the program. Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek, and today I have some modern stuff for you uh, to look at that's kind of fun. I always enjoy uh, some of these modern coins. I know a lot of you guys are like uh, sort of on the fence or not really, but I want to tell you um, the things to look at, even if you're not a fan of these type of coins, is to um, twofold. One, if you have someone who's young uh, and you want to get into coin collecting, having a modern coin that appeals to them is a good uh, kind of gateway drug, if you will. It's something to start with. And there's, of course, uh, Shrek and Donkey, and uh, thumbs up on that. One of the things that uh, is important for you to understand is the next generation. It's important for us if we're coin collectors. So, so consider some of this modern stuff from that angle. The second thing to consider on this modern stuff is to look at some of the actual minting processes that they have created that are different than what they used to do. And uh, just think about what they can do maybe on a US mint coin a little bit differently than they do. Uh, you know, on this coin, for example, I want you to look at the fibers on Shrek's shirt. Look at look at the detail on Shrek's shirt. Uh, I find this to be really something that is, um, what will we say, exquisite. Uh, that is something that has a lot of life to it and a lot of detail. Uh, and then you look at Donkey's uh, fur and you see kind of the same thing where you see a lot of really fine detail. Uh, and Another thing that I want to mention in this video as we go forward here with uh, 1981's uh, Galaga, right? I probably say everything wrong from my own childhood. But one of the things that I've talked about sometimes when it comes to collecting is, is the chronocentric nature of collecting, which just means that over time you'll see different collectibles come into fashion. Anything from the 80s right now is going to appeal to an entire generation of people that are in their working prime and have money to spend. And so you start making uh, you start making coins that appeal to them or any other collectible that appeals to them and you know voila and you get you get sales. This one is is really I I think it's lots of fun. I like the the emblem is really neat on there. Once again paying attention to just what you can do with space, with negative space and with uh, the different sheens that they get from the proof-like fields to the matte finishes. And uh, you look at some of the things that they can do on a modern coin. Just think about how that could be applied to a coin that we may uh, have one day. Uh, Miss Pac-Man, 40th anniversary. Come on down, Miss Pac-Man. Of course, most of these coins are from the island country of Nui. And uh, a few of these here are 2021 models. You know, that's their crest in the middle. This one's fun because you've got yum, yum, yum. You've got Miss Pac-Man running away from me. Well, that's the first time I've ever dropped a coin. Uh, there's the pretzel. Look at that. You get the ghosts. You get the dots. You get the cherry. Right. Uh, apples, oranges, cherries, strawberries. Anyone else remember? And But perhaps my favorite and... Uh, is the actual Pac-Man coin. Check these out, right? So it's going back to its 8-bit roots with kind of the uh, pixelated look. And this is a $2 from Nui, also 2021 issue, one ounce fine AG Pac-Man. And uh, this, is, this is really a cool design in my opinion. Also a 2021. So I, uh, I will say that uh, having different shaped coins I find somewhat interesting. And uh, of course, just uh, collecting my time, collecting my childhood, that type of thing. You know, a lot of these, a lot of these will appeal to me and to people who are of a similar age. And if you grew up playing Pac-Man, um, I think this is something that's definitely worth picking up. I think they're about 30 bucks right now in the marketplace. Maybe you can find them for, for less even. Yeah, yeah. Here he comes, just eating up my eBay store. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the owl button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.